Good morning, y'all, and welcome back to the channel. So in the last video, me and her left you guys on a cliffhanger. We were standing in this very spot, and we were telling you what is next for Pave New Pass. And then we turned the camera, and we turned it off. You didn't get to see what's next. Well, today, we're going to show you what's next. Are you guys ready to see it? Here it goes. And that's what's next for Pave New Pass. We hope you guys enjoyed it. We love you, and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs> we are just playing with y'all. Have y'all seen how good this field looks back here? I think it gets greener every day. All right, guys, here it is. You already know from the thumbnail, because we probably titled it, We Bought an Abandoned House. Well, we bought an abandoned house. Do you guys finally want to see it? Here it goes. I promise. I'm going to show you this time. There it is. That's our abandoned house. Would you guys like to go check it out? I want to go check it out with you guys. I'm so excited to share this with you. Like, this is going to be a fun project. Should we do the front? Outside first? Inside first? What do you want to do first? Let's go... I think we should go to the road and start yes. from there. Yes, go from the front and work our way toward the back. To this beautiful field. To this beautiful field that we don't own, by the way. <laughs> we technically own some of it. We'll talk about that later. We're to the front of the house. We're actually in the road in one of my favorite parts. We are. Look at these trees. These are our trees. We have canopy trees. We always wanted canopy trees. I, I can't believe we have them. Like, this is awesome. Look, there's our house. But look, look at the canopy trees. Look at the drive-in. So beautiful. I love oak trees. <laughs> I especially love that none of the oak trees fell during this recent storm we had. Sorry for the wind. The wind has stuck around after the storm, but nothing's on the ground, which I was concerned that we might find some trees down. So, right here is our mailbox. It actually <laughs> is on the ground. It is on the ground. <laughs> we'll have to fix that. So, here it is. Here is the front of our house. Would you have to go show them closer let's, to the house? Let's go. We are now closer to the house. <laughs> Thank you, narrator Kevin. <laughs> I'm just saying, you want to give them a view. So there is the front of the house. There's our driveway. There's our yard. And there's our canopy trees blowing so good in the wind right now. Do you know what you don't hear? Anything else. I know it's so Just peaceful nature like I'm so in love with this property you know what I'm not in love with what my lack of grass <laughs> yeah you're gonna have to work on that also we kind of got a pond going over here <laughs> do you guys know what this means I get to get my own zero turn and I get to mow my own yard again not a John Deere you want a tractor oh, <laughs> you could man. be done in like three minutes <laughs> Let's go check out the driveway. So I'm standing in the driveway. This is actually the pretty decent part of the driveway. It's got two awesome Fords in it. So uh... <laughs> it's already better. <laughs> and this is the not so great part of the driveway, which will be a project in the future. But we have so much room. I know so many activities are going to happen outside. Also, you see what's right in front of my truck. Boop. Kevin's play yard. <laughs> It is my play yard. It is my play yard. His man cave. <laughs> but first, before we show you that, let's go show you the house. Okay. Welcome to the garage Welcome. with no garage door. Yes, we'll work on that also. So a little backstory about this house. We know the owners, obviously, it's a small town. We know everyone. And we originally contacted them because we heard they had renovated this house. And we were thinking maybe as a rental property, this would be good for us to live in while we decided where we wanted to live. No one has lived in this house and I think he said like three years. And um, so it's very empty, but they did remodel it after the people who were living here moved out. So some of the projects are complete, but there's still lots of projects that we wanna tackle. I'll put it like this. We could live in it tomorrow if we wanted to, but we're likely gonna be doing lots and lots of changes to this place before we are fully living here. They weren't really looking to have it as a rental property so then we started discussing the the buying it option and everything just worked out and so now we're gonna be homeowners again. Let's go check it out. Before we go inside let me show you this little outside area which is probably project well it's probably a garage project. By the way this is probably Alicia's garage. This is my garage and the children. <laughs> they get to put, put their toys in here. So this is some sort of laundry, yes, mud room? It's the laundry room. Um, 
AC and hot water heater all back here, but washer and dryer will go here and probably some type of fridge or freezer, something here for Kevin. You didn't say <laughs> anything about any of these cabinets. Well, obviously they're gonna be full of all the things. And then in here we've got another closet. Which, by the way, we should have brought a light. Alicia has already decided to renovate this entire room. <laughs> Alicia yeah. saying so we can just cut a hole right yeah. there and make a new wall. Let me show you. Okay, so we don't have access to the laundry from the house. Someone out there, I know one of you viewers is an HVAC or an uh, or a plumber, and you can tell me is this an easy, easy project? So hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna tell them the story. For the hot water heater, yes. For the HVAC, I'm gonna say the answer is a expensive no. <laughs> Listen, anything can be done. I watch HGTV. Anything can be done, but what's the budget on something like this? So all I want to do is move it just a little bit. Look, if we took these two things and, and walked them right back here in this area, then we can make a walkway into our home. Yeah, the other we, side of that wall is our house. Yes, and we wouldn't have to go through the garage to get to like the mudroom area. Is it doable? Is it expensive? I'm sure it's expensive. <laughs> yeah, he's moving it up and down. But how expensive is it? That would be like a dream project for me. But if I have to walk through the garage, that's okay. We can do that too. Oh, heaven forbid you have to walk <laughs> through the garage. I know. <laughs> it's time to go inside. We're gonna go in from the garage instead of from the front door because I think it just will work out better that way. So here we go. Here's the house. I by the way, by the way, that's the wall she wants to cut out and just walk through. Yes, come on, it can't be that hard. I mean. Oh, you saw it on a TV show with <laughs> editing, so it can't be hard, right? I mean, they do it in like 26 minutes on TV. Yeah, <laughs> there we go, it's done. Maybe we'll use that in a future clip one day <laughs> when we get to do that. But if not, this is like dining room area. We've got a little fireplace area. Behind you is like the living room with the world's biggest windows. Oh yes, way. also let's pause. I like these walls. Yes. Look at these. And they're all throughout the house, so the trim of them, I like it. It's definitely our style, so it has the gray like that we like, light floors that we like, and the natural wood, which I think is a lot like our previous house. So really on the inside, we could just move in and be perfectly fine. We, I mean, we could, technically. We could, but we like projects, and so we'll probably have some projects for you. <laughs> so I got big plans for the kitchen. HGTV got HG watched again. <laughs> I, I grew up literally watching HGTV with my mother, so I have all the plans. Okay, so this area is where the fridge is supposed to go. I think it's a little small. I also think the pantry is a little small. We got five mouths to feed. So here's my idea. Take this out. Wait, 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 wait. Let's tell them the ideas in another video. Let's just show them the house oh, now. Okay, sorry. Okay. You're, gonna, you're gonna give them too many Let ideas give to answer you to. All the ideas. Okay, so first idea, just tell me how much is that gonna cost to move that? That's probably like years down the road, but we can dream, right? That's all like, right. by the way, that's four videos from now. We're gonna need to do that. <laughs> all right, so we would have fridge here, double oven, microwave, uh, dishwasher. We've got a cooktop here with the range. It's actually a Viking cooktop. That's actually yeah, pretty sweet. I think that's pretty sweet too. I can't wait to cook on that. And I love the granite that's on it. I love the color of the, the um, cabinets. I mean, when you've lived in an RV for so long, this feels like a mansion. Like there's so many cabinets, so many activities. Like. I can do everything in here that I need to do. I don't cook much, so that's not really saying much. <laughs> Over here, got like a little bar area so we can put some bar stools. And then living room. Big, giant front windows to our soon to be luscious green yard. Yes. I was just looking at these windows. It looks like they like tinted them. They did. Yeah, so. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna tint them into a dual pane and a much cleaner look. Yeah, but I do love the look of no pane. Like yep. no, what are those things called, panes? I don't know. 
Well, it's um, one giant piece, so yes. when your kids break it, it's one giant expense. Yeah, we're gonna definitely have to get some safety glass. I'm also worried about Buddy going through the door, because if <laughs> someone comes through the front door and he can see them, he's gonna try and jump through it, no doubt. Let's, uh, let's go show them the, back room. the living areas. All right, let's start with our room. So we're this way. Here's the master. Master bedroom. Master bedroom. So one thing about this house, I don't know if this is a style for older houses. This was built like in the 60s. The windows are all up high, which I kind of love, but I also kind of hate. I'm not sure. Oh my God, are we about to have an HGTV <laughs> moment again? I'm just saying, it's great for furniture placement because you can literally put furniture anywhere. But I kind of like to look out the window. I say that and then I put blinds up and I never open them. <laughs> By the way, the first time I saw this, she was like, I need a door there. Yes, I want this to be a door to my backyard, to my, look, it's that view again. Come on. Look he at has, that, look at that yard. He had some French doors here and you could just have a little patio here. Oh my gosh, there's so many possibilities. But anyway, master bedroom, it's got two ginormous closets. I mean, look at this. It's like the width of our RV. <laughs> uh, and there's two of those. We definitely don't have enough clothes for that. <laughs> and here's the little restroom area. Let me get a light. We don't have power, by the way. That's why there's no lights yet. Yes, I put that on my list to bring. Okay, so. That light is doing it. Okay, it might be we'll working. look over there. So it's got a little shower right here. Then a little vanity with the same granite that the kitchen had. And then over here, there's like a jetted tub with a little step up. This is actually really nice. Yeah. I also have plans for in here too. Imagine that. <laughs> I won't tell you those plans because he wants me to keep them a secret, but future me has some plans. Look, we're about to film a whole lot of things. We can't give you all the goods on the first video. You got to cliffhanger, Here, cliffhanger. If you looked at that bathroom, I'll, I'll give you a, no, I'll ask you a question. What would you do if that was your bathroom? I'll see if it's the same idea as me. I'll let you know. All right, so through here, little closet, little linen closet. It's actually pretty huge. Look at the kids' bathroom. Yes, the kids' bathroom was like one of the parts of the remodel that they did. Oh, watch this. I'm gonna so, go hide in the shower and look at you. <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> so yeah, it's all updated. It's got the nice granite. It needs a mirror, but all the shower was redone. They told me that it used to have a blue sink and blue tub from the 60s. So it got a nice update. I love that it's just a shower. The kids can bathe in our room if they need to. But recently they've told me they want to start showering. So that might work in this one. And it's got the oh, man. Most, most storage ever. Like, Whoa. what do we do with all this storage after living in an RV? Well, I wonder if there's too much weight you can put in there. <laughs> Are we gonna get brain flex on a house? <laughs> All right, off to the middle bedroom. Oh man. And I think this is gonna be Caden's room. We've kind of let the girls decide, but they like the front room better, but another really big room with two huge closets again. They aren't quite as deep as ours, but they're still ginormous. Man. And another chest high window with a future yard that's going to be green. Right, and a big huge oak tree. Oh. There's lots of tree trimming to be done. You know what I love? Hmm. I love that we're going to get along with our neighbors. Because literally... There are none. Do we have any neighbors? We don't even have a front door neighbor. Like, introvert me loves that. <laughs> Let's go to the front. I'm amazed that you could RV with all those people you had to meet. I know. <laughs> I do like meeting people. I just like to do it when I'm put together. I don't need anyone <laughs> seeing me in my pajamas going to check the mail. <laughs> so this is the front room. I originally thought this would be Caden's room, but for some reason the girls took a liking to it. And it's got lots of windows and a big closet that already has like the built-ins and everything. Man, window to the front yard, windows. Yard. Side yards. Yeah. So, yeah, I thought this would be Caden's room because the other room had two closets. 
Apparently the girls don't know that's gonna be a big deal in their future. They're gonna need more room for all the clothes when they get older, so in the future, I'm gonna predict it. They're gonna switch rooms. Caden's gonna come here and the girls will go over there so they can have more closet space because that's essential for a teenage girl. <laughs> all right, now that you've seen the inside, let's go show you the back porch and more of that beautiful field view. Also, a little closet on this side. Oh, that's actually pretty big. I know. I actually did not know that was that big. That's, that's what I've been looking at, I'm closets. <laughs> you don't care about closets, you've been no, out there. Look at this, look at this, awesome. Now this door is meant to go. It's a little tough. That could be better. Yeah, oh, oh! What? Just walked through spider webs. Is that a spider web move? Yes. <laughs> Keep all the things off me. All right, so now that we're getting outside, this is where the projects are starting to start. <laughs> Well, this is where your projects are part I'm starting to start. I mean, I have like a million in there I'm ready to do. <laughs> but yes, for sure, if you're living in a space like this, like you want the outdoor to be amazing because obviously we love the outdoors. We're gonna spend all our time outside. So yes, this is a great place to start. Good patio. The edge of it is a little concerning to me with the children. I just see them like the chasing. Edge? Yes, chasing a ball and just watch. I mean, it's, that's twice as far as like, you fell and broke a leg. It's like to my knee. I know I could break both legs from here. So it's like that the whole way around. So I'm not quite sure what we're going to do with that, but it's a huge patio and I think it's going to be awesome. By the way, y'all want to see where she wants that door? She wants a French door right there in our room. But if we do that, then we need to make a place so you can walk out of that French door onto. What's that pipe? I don't know. We'll have to figure it out. Overflow pipe for something? Who knows? I'll have to move. <laughs> HGTV. It's in the way of my patio door. First, we yeah. have to build a patio. Big patio that like wraps around to this one and then like a little walkway to the shop. Come on. I can envision it now. It's going to be amazing. I mean, it already is amazing if you ask me. Do you want to go see the amazing thing right there? Yes. A little, little context. It's a fixer upper. A lot going on in here. So this is the uh, the abandoned part of our video. <laughs> yeah, so I think this is where all the work was done for the remodel. And part of us buying this house was that we told them we kind of want to do everything. We want to clean it up. We want to do it all. Because if there's scraps in there that we can use, we'd hate to see them trash. So there's a lot going on in there. Some things they are going to come and take out from the personal or from the previous owner. He's going to come get his things, but a lot of it is here to stay. So let's go check it out. Hey, I found you a bathroom mirror. <laughs> Just a little crack in it. I can do Pilates out in the yard. Have you, you ever done? Have you ever done Pilates not in the yard? I have never done Pilates. Period. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing ballet moves as I was talking about Pilates. Hey y'all. The girls would love that. Put them a little bar there, and they can. You're supposed to be filming me in the mirror. I was filming you right here. Watch. Woo, something popped. <laughs> All right, so we're in the front of the driveway. There are some beautiful Fords. This is part of where my stuff gets interesting. We have this giant garage door, but there's no way, there's no way to drive a car in there because they don't connect. Yeah, that's so gonna, that's problem number one. Yes, that's gonna have to get addressed. I cannot drive through my French doors. <laughs> you can't. It'd make an awesome patio. You want the <laughs> patio it. <laughs> so that's problem one. Problem two. It's not really a problem. Have an open mind when you walk through this door. <laughs> open mind. It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. The smell is not amazing. But Look at this. It's gonna be fine. There's a lot going on in here, like we said, but just envision it when it's all done and it's gonna be so awesome. Like, there's so many room, so, so, so much room for activities out here. Come, let's walk in. Look, look speaking of activities, it looks like someone <laughs> who was here before. This is why the remodel didn't get done. There was a lot of activities. <laughs> Dude, there's an oxygen bottle? And a fire poker. Awesome. There's all kinds of things. All kinds of things. 
There's a kid's hard hat. We can put it on Caden. <laughs> <laughs> he can help you out. The yeah. old stove, so a dishwasher. These, yeah. Is that ours? I think it, it's all old. All, the double oven. Okay. The old, I don't even know why that stove's here. If they were using it also. We have a planer. He's probably not going to leave that. No, I doubt it. I wonder if he's going to leave. Oh, it's a Dr. Pepper cooler? I'm sure it works. <laughs> hey, it might. You don't know. I'm sure it works. It'd be so cool if that got left, though, and we could clean Man, it up. Man, look at this. Because you love Dr. Pepper. So what's cool is everything's insulated. Oh, look at the big fan. I never even noticed the big fan. I wonder if that works. That's a big old fan. Man. <laughs> it's insulated? Yeah. I mean, it's... It's cold outside and it feels warm and I mean cold for us Texans, but it's chilly outside after the rain and it's nice and warm in here. But the coolest thing is there's a restroom out here. I mean, that's cool for me because kids always need to go to the restroom. So does mama. And there's one right here. So when we're bothering you in your man cave, we have, we don't have to go back in the house. We're also going to HGTV that room. Yes, we have big plans. It's going to be a bathroom, a garage bathroom, but it's going to be an appropriate garage bathroom for yes. women and children. Yes, And so we're told... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm speeding you through. Here's the stuff. thing. I told her I wanted a urinal, <laughs> and she told me that you can't have a urinal. I said, it's my garage, my rules. Technically, I didn't say he could not have a urinal. I said if he has a urinal, he will be responsible for cleaning said urinal because I'm not cleaning a wall of pee from you and Caden. Sorry, it's just not happening. I, I just kind of detest cleaning toilets anyway. I, I can't clean a urinal, sorry. <laughs> what do y'all think? Should we get a urinal? If you're gonna clean it, go for it. <laughs> You could get a baby urinal for Caden, <laughs> daddy and son. And out here is like just a little room. So we're told that the the grandfather used to sit out here. There was a stove that you saw on the back porch. Yeah, it's a wood burning wood stove. Wood burning stove. He would sit back here and just watch the cattle and watch the livestock and everything. And it's all windowed and it's kind of cool. Like this could be an amazing play space workspace, workout space. What are you gonna do with your space? I'm thinking this is where Kevin's indoor projects will be. Uh -huh. It'll be like a garage, but an inviting place to work and hang out. Is, that, is, is Hips gonna park in here? Only whenever there's room. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Hips is our truck, by the way. <laughs> and this can be our outdoor office slash area. Yeah. So instead of having an office in there, I can have an office out here looking out at the field. Right. And I mean, some of the windows need attention. I'm not sure I love- All of the windows yeah. need attention. I'm not sure I love these windows because- No, I'm getting, I'm getting- The painless ones. Yeah. yeah, I think so too. Window pane, I finally figured out what it was called. Painless windows. And then you have like a, a sliding door here too. That would be awesome. Door. I think there's a door over there. Yeah. There's a door right there. Tons of doors It's here. like seven doors. Yeah, you can get in and out of this place in a hurry. Uh, but it's just, there's so many possibilities for this space. Like I'm so excited for it, for you and for us. You have to save some space for us. <laughs> so look, once it's all cleaned up, you can see through the windows. Look, you can literally see through. Oh, almost. It's the only, oh, they're double pane. Yep. I was not expecting that. Whoop. Oh, so anyway, this is the project. And by project, it's gonna be, a majority of our videos are coming from this room. Yeah. For a well, while. For a while, I think. Um, this is definitely one of the first places we wanna give attention to because we know that this is gonna be used a lot by our family. I will say it's very funny to me that as we're in our 40s, if I would've looked at this house in my 20s, the house I bought in my 20s and you bought, uh, I would have marked this one off like immediately. Nope, not doing it. This is way too much work, too scary, not going here. But in our 40s, now that we have three children, we're all of a sudden like, well, let's do projects. I'm up for a project. Like this house actually excites me now, whereas before I would have turned around and told the realtor, I don't need to go in this one. Do you know why I enjoy this? Why do you enjoy this? I wore my shirt for it. <laughs> because Lowe's knows. Yes, I think we are going to be giving all of our money to the blue store in the near future. I told Kevin he might want to consider a part-time job there so that we can get that employee discount because there's so many projects. And to be fair, 
I've been cross shopping. The orange store will get some money too. Yes. <laughs> because they have things I need that the blue store doesn't have. I've yes. learned that uh, if the blue store carries it, the orange store has to carry like a similar but different version of the same thing. Like John Deere stuff, for example. There's some John Deere things I want from the orange store that the blue store doesn't sell. So I'm going to wear a disguise and go to the orange store and buy it. <laughs> I'm going to go buy you a team orange store shirt so you can wear it there and be proud. You want to see the backyard? I do. Yes. That's more projects. <clears throat> Man, these people were getting tore up on Natty Light. <laughs> Who drinks Natty Light? I didn't even know they still made that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry if one of y'all drink Natty Light. It's probably a great beer. We wouldn't know. We just haven't tasted it since like high school. <laughs> sorry, mom. Just kidding. <laughs> so here is the backyard. Well, the side yard. This is the side yard. Yes. Side yard. So. And that's actually, we know them. Well, we know the owner of that. Yes, we do. Very no, sweet no one, No one lives there. That's just uh, <laughs> a collection of stuff. Area. So, not really neighbors. Tell them about this. We have our own water well. It's artesian water, we're told. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go talk about this fence, though. Well, to talk about the fence, we have to go to the corner. Yeah. Why are you high-stepping? Man, somebody needs a mower ASAP. <laughs> this is a lot. Look at the side building. It needs some work. It does. And look at the outside area. I mean, it's so cool. Right, but the fact that it's already here and like started for us, like so excited. This, this is gonna be fun. So here is the interesting part. Do you see this fence right here? That's not on the property line. The property line is actually right about there. So this fence has to go almost to that wood pile. And here in the back, it goes probably to there. So that tree is actually in our backyard and the fence will be 20 or so feet outside of that. Right, so this property owner and this property owner are actually family, or they were. And well, so they're still family. They're, they're still family, but now we're getting new property owners. Um, and so they didn't really care where the fence lines were and things like that. So they, they um, know that it's going to be moved. They're fine with that. And it's gonna give us a bigger backyard. And we get another big tree. Look at our outdoor area. We've also discussed having a patio on that too, because yeah. Alicia is really into HGTV patios. <laughs> well, I think after RVing, we've just spent so much time outdoors and you can see the value of an outdoor space that if you have the space, use it. So patio me up, baby. That's a new shirt idea. <laughs> patio me up, baby. All right, so here is the outside of the garage. So I'd be sitting right there at my desk doing my YouTube stuff, looking out here at this beautiful view. Man. You may never stop working. Look at the views. I know, the views are amazing. And there's cattle that come back here. We're told there's also deer. I tried to pet some cows the other day. They weren't having it. So Kevin's gonna get me some range cubes. We're gonna make friends so we can pet cows together. If you wanna pet cows, you can just come to work. <laughs> I don't wanna come to work. I got puppies now. I, I have my own work here now. <laughs> As you walk through, this is the backyard. There's the house, the other side. Obviously some trimming is gonna have to happen there. Yeah. Uh, overall, it's just a whole a lot of cleanup, a whole lot of work, but it's, it's awesome. Yes, so now that you've seen it all, we want your ideas because we're still very much in the planning stages of what we're going to do or how we're going to tackle this project. I'll tell you, we're going to do a little at a time because we don't want to overwhelm ourselves and start in too many places. So we're going to kind of focus our efforts in one place. So if we focused our area of interest into his shop, what would you do there? Tell wait, wait. Us all of your thoughts. Did y'all hear that? She said his shop. I mean, it is your shop, but what you fail to remember is what's yours. It's mine, and what's mine is the children's. Because <laughs> we can't have anything to ourselves anymore. So, it's all of our space, but I think that is a great area to start in with the shop, and we want to know, what's your ideas? What would you do? You know, the first thing I'd do is I think I'd buy your husband a zero turn. Because he needs to get to work. <laughs> My husband's kind of picky about his zero turn, so he's going to have to go pick out his own. <laughs> so anyway, guys, that's what Pave New Pass is going to be up to for the foreseeable future. We love y'all. Thanks for hanging out with us. And we'll see you in the next one. Hey, one more time. Check out that view. 
that's a good view. We love you guys. 